Viva Tequila Seltzer, the number one hard seltzer in the world and the official hard seltzer of day drinking with dog. Ditch them all, add tequila. Welcome back, day drinking with dog on this beautiful Saturday night. It doesn't even feel like fall yet. I know. Uh, the mornings have. But not the not the nights. Love this weather. Yeah, this is fucking. Love I wanted to, I wanted to drop a little bit. I, I'm ready for a sweatshirt. I gotta hide. The yeah, belly. I gotta hide the belly a little. You know what it is, man. You you break the seal into this weather, and, and I'm then, fucking and, full throttle. Right, right. Let's right. just go. Yeah. Leaves down. Yeah. Sweatshirts on. Yeah. Let's I'm all in. Football season. All football that. season. Yep. Uh, well, welcome back to the show, Rich. This, hey. I uh, didn't even introduce you yet. You just jumped right in. Let's that's go. Fucking, that's how you roll. Well, let's go, baby. Uh, Rich yep. Masella, formerly, not formerly, of Inc. Sure. But now sure. he's by himself. So when you were on the show with Inc. Yeah. Great show. The, the, Sound Steve. Yeah. The, the Gons Brothers yeah. took off and... Yeah. I think we ended up sitting here for... We did. We probably talked had, for a good had, hour after. I think the Celtics were on in the finals. <laughs> yeah. So I was watching that over your head, not really paying attention to you. Yeah. And uh, we we got after it. We realized we how did. like-minded we are. Very much so. so. We yeah. We were like, all right, let's do, uh, let's do a pod then. Fuck let's, it. let's have a little one-on-one time. Yeah. So... Uh, sure, sure. Quite an interesting week. Yeah, great week, man. Yeah, great week it, to it, chit chat about Every shit. week's an interesting it, week. It really now. is. There is not a non-interesting week ever. Especially now. Right. Yeah. So the debate, well, let's start Monday. I don't even remember Monday. Yeah. Uh, except the Jets lost, so that was fun. Yeah. But Tuesday was the debate, and boy, did the left just run away with a victory, and they are just they doing did. victory laps. They did. And it's yeah. over, and I keep reminding people. Yeah. Because I follow Vegas odds. When Trump got shot. Yeah. We he thought- was... Hands down, he was like a 75% favorite to it was win. game over. And how quickly yeah. does that change? So I almost feel like this is the same situation. Yeah. And we'll get into this a little farther down on the show about Kamala's interview yesterday. Sure. But sure, she she rattled Trump a little bit, made him look start talking about fucking cats and dogs and babies on the sure. tables and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He should have stayed away from that. But, yeah. but I didn't even, I watched the first half hour and I fell asleep. I just I was uninterested at that point. Yeah, um, I've I've heard everything. Trump, I know we know yeah. Trump's playbook. So yeah, you know Trump's Trump. He's yeah, never, he's you know who he is. Take him or leave him. Yeah, just yeah. Trump's you Trump. Play, you can play there. Yeah, take him. Uh, uh, you're in a yeah, goddamn yeah, rock band. You don't yeah, know how to put your fucking mouth yeah. towards the mic. Easy, easy, <laughs> easy with the mouth on the mic. You yeah, don't no, know why he texted yeah. the back door. Trump is uh, <laughs> Trump is Trump, right? Right. Yeah. We know what we're gonna yeah, get with him. We yeah, know he's gonna yeah. act like a buffoon. And we watch the bait. Um, at the end of it, I, I, I turned and said, you know what? On the surface, she won that. Yeah. I'd I'll, say, I'll, I'll give yeah. her the victory. She, she, I, she I won it. Kamala won it. I was a Red uh, Sox fan for years. I yeah. used to take an L's. You know, Trump, Trump went off the deep end, took the bait, whatever you want to say. But, um, right away, as quick as the debate ended, if you go, went to X, went to social, the story was it was a three on one, mm-hmm. and it was yeah. Oh, it totally was. Yeah. And that that's not me being. What left, was the what left, was the right lady's center. name? I know him. You were. I hate uh, you. the the lady's name that was uh, sorority sisters with Kamala Harris, uh, Lindsay Davis. Lindsay Davis. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. David Muir is like the most douchiest. Like, I only catch him a little bit because I'm waiting for Jeopardy to come on. This, yeah, this is where my yeah, life yeah. is at now. Yeah. And I and he's just so fucking oh he's like punchable you know yeah. what I mean yeah and but when she came out like right off the rip about the abortion thing and then she like she was like well, uh, just you know uh, President Trump like uh, yeah, there's no babies on the table there's not a state name in it shut the fuck up and first of all now so this is what's great is like they're fact checking the live fact checking and it's like no that Virginia governor yeah. said on a podcast. Yeah, that yeah, if the he, baby is deformed, they will or something is wrong with it. They'll sure. put it on a table yeah. and let the yeah. parents decide what they want to do with it. Yeah, that I, that is what Trump's yeah. getting at. I, That's what he said. I try to take everything right down the middle and yeah. take it all in, and just a common sense outlook of that whole thing was it was waited for her. That's not me uh, being a Trump guy. That's just down the middle. Common sense. Right in the middle. It's, it's right, right on TV. Yeah. 
And I get it. If you're, I always equate it to like being a sports fan. I'm Cowboys. You're Giants. You're never gonna like the Cowboys. I'm never gonna like what you know. I know. You're, I know. I know. See, you know. Yeah. That's how. That's where we are as a society. It's like right. no, my team right. got to win. But in just watching that, I'm like, oh my god, that's completely lopsided, right? Like, yeah, you know, be just. All I'm asking for as a citizen of the it's United States. It's an assist States, to a just, person in a debate, right? But as soon as that happens, as soon as that unfairness, that assist happens, I'm no, good. nobody wins. That, yeah, nobody wins, and that's why I went to bed. Everybody right. just game over. Yep. Shut it down. Yep. So again, going back, she won. Uh, I'll give her that in terms of what we saw on TV. But as soon as it ends, you know, the, you know, the pundits are spinning. You know, it was a three on one. You go to the other pundits. She mopped the floor with Trump. Right. So, however the hell. You oh, know. the far left was. At, so this is what used to really bother me about Twitter was there's who I follow. Sure. And then there's the 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 left side that says for you, and the for you it literally is littered with ninety nine percent like hardcore liberals. So yeah. I used to be like, this is not yeah. for me. I don't need yeah. this Keith Olbermann. I don't follow him. Yeah. But he pops up on here all the time. He does, yeah. Dude. But then I've twisted it in my own head. Yeah. So I'm like, this is what I wake up to now. I want to see what the left says today. Yeah. And I so I'll go right to For You. And I, yeah. I end up scrolling down more over that side because I just yeah. laugh out loud. Well, I look, I, I like to take it all in, man. Yeah. yeah. I, n- nowadays, just to, just for the humor. <laughs> exactly. It's I, all I for. I just, just want to like, what, what are they? But it, where we are in this whole matrix of things, it's all... It, Everything, again, that's my theme today, common sense. Yeah. Just with common sense, it's all predictable. You can now predict what's, you can predict what's going to happen this week, man. Yeah. You know, it, it's a, it's the chess match back and forth, but it's all predictable. Right. When something goes down now, I'm not like, oh my God. Oh, I'm it's like, just nothing. I'm like, oh, I was just waiting for that to drop. Right. You know. There's so. nothing of shock value. Yeah, no, anymore. there isn't. Yeah. It's, uh, and it's just, I mean... Yeah, the the latest was um, what did I send you the thing about supposedly there was a whistleblower, but then it's yeah. you don't know what's true and what's not true, right? right. You, you don't know what the fuck is the whistleblower. Pay- I mean, like the whistleblowers are weird to me because you just don't know what their real motive is. Yeah, uh, yeah, and and, you, and, you, and like yeah. you have to trust them. Like they're they're telling this goes for both sides. Like, oh sure, this, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're telling the truth for what? Like, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he yeah. was pissed. Maybe his boss pissed him off one day. Yeah. He's like, oh, fuck it. Yeah. Like the Boeing guy, you know? Like, oh, I mean, sure. Yeah. Who the fuck knows? So, yeah. Obviously, with the debate, she didn't say nothing. She, 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 she deba- it was like a high school debate. Like, there was no substance to it. Yeah. It was just arguing back and forth, and that's where she won the, won the debate. But, yeah. I mean, where, 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 where are we now? Like, so. I, I got this well, clip. Well, here's the deal. Did the needle move in the polls no. post debate? Not really. No. No. They did. No. They're exactly where they were right. right before the debate. Yeah. So, you know, she dodged the question right off the rip. Uh, so this is, so, see, this is where I think she's going to yeah. lose the election is is what happened yesterday. Right. So I'll play this clip for about are, 40 Are we seconds. going to the interview on yes. the local ABC? Uh, yeah. Right. Because this interview is exactly... The first question of the debate. Right. It's exactly what she said. The first question. Now I don't really have liberals probably listening to this show, but if there yeah. are, yeah, take Trump out of it, like completely out of it. I know it's yeah. impossible for you guys to do, right. but take him out and just yeah. listen to what Kamala has to say. Right. I hear it more than I do. People want to know more about you and about your specific plans. At the debate the other night, he talked about creating an opportunity economy. I wonder if we can drill down on that a little bit. When we talk about bringing down prices and making life more affordable for people, yeah. what are one or two specific things you have in mind for that? Okay, let me stop it right there. Mm-hmm. He's asking a very general question on, okay, you basically sidestepped it at the debate. Now here's your chance. Right. Here's your chance to fucking say what you got yeah. for the American people yeah. that are suffering. Here she goes. No shame. Well, I'll start with this. Um, I grew up a middle class kid. My mother raised my sister and me. She worked very hard. Um, She was able to finally save up enough money to buy our first house when I was a teenager. Deflecting. Um, I grew up in a community of hardworking people, you know, construction workers and nurses and teachers and 
I try to explain to some people who may not have had the same experience, you know, if, if the, a lot of people will relate to this. You know, I grew up in a neighborhood of folks who are very proud of their lawn, you know? And, um, and I was raised to believe and to know that all okay. She she's, sounds she, uh, she sounds been, she sounds nervous. Dry right, mouth, right. sticking. Yeah, this is how she started yeah, the debate the other yeah, night. Yeah. And she'd never met this guy. Right. I think it was her first meeting. Sure. And uh, so she's babbling. Let's listen to a little more babble, and then yeah. we'll, then we'll break it down. People deserve dignity, and that we as Americans have a beautiful character. Oh, you know, we have so, ambitions so, so and true, aspirations rich. and dreams, but not everyone necessarily has access to the resources that can help them fuel those dreams and ambitions. Yeah, they do. It's yes. called the so internet. When I talk about building an opportunity economy, it is very much with the mind of investing in the ambitions and aspirations and the, and the incredible work ethic of the American people and creating opportunity for people. Okay, I, I can't you gotta stop. anymore. You got to stop. Yeah, yeah, stop it. Because yeah. I, I'll, I'm going to lose listeners. Uh, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, well, here's here's what's funny, too, because we all say presidents or, or people running for president. It's behind the scenes that matter. Right. No one is fucking just on the fly. Just like so her big thing is twenty five thousand dollars for first time home buyers assistance and fifty thousand dollars in tax free uh, small business loan or uh, a tax break. Fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. OK, this this what does this remind? What does that remind you of? This fucking student loans sure. cancellation yeah. that never yeah. happened. This will never. Yeah. Where is this? Where is this yeah. twenty five? Should I wait? Should I wait to buy my house no. because she's gonna? You, well, how long? This will never happen. Yeah, ever. you know, you know what's gonna happen? The prices at Home Depot are gonna go up. Right. That percentage. Yep. The the guys that are building Home prices are gonna the go guys up. that are building the homes they're just gonna mm -hmm. it, 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 the money's gonna be made it's not it's gonna be in there the price of the home's gonna go up twenty five grand right so and yeah people are gonna yeah. with that twenty five thousand. Probably spend beyond their means, and in four years be foreclosed on. That's right. Just yep. it happened in two thousand eight. <laughs> it happened. It happened already. <laughs> it just yeah. happened yeah. fucking fifteen yeah. years ago. Yeah. I mean, it's just like I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Like tax breaks are one yeah. thing. Okay, great. Well, tell us what the tax breaks are. Like yeah. where 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 yeah. like like I, I heard. Uh, what was it actually? It was Trump, right? Yeah. Every overtime hour worked is tax free. Sure. That's part of that's one of yeah. his plans. Yeah. No tax on tips is another that needs to be honed in. I think. Yeah. Obviously she stole yeah. that one too. Yeah. Um, that's where I think Americans will. Yeah. Will follow you. Yeah. Will be like, oh, well, yeah, like we already we're already so fucking yeah. taxed to the yeah. everything we do we're taxed on. The listen the people that are into this whole thing with her the vibes and the whole thing mm -hmm. they. They were they're voting anyway. Those are they're yeah. voting, they're they're voting that way anyway. So I don't know who she's really pulling in from the center with all that. Right. Um. When you when you go, they're doing snap polls. You know, you walk up to people on the street and I, saying, yeah. "Hey, who you know who do you who do you, who you vote for and why?" You know, a lot of that leans toward Trump. Yeah. You know, a lot of people you know appreciate his realness. You know, you're not you're not going to get people off of uh, where they are to, to go vote for Trump. It's 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 not happening when it comes to um, all those folks, man. Right. It's just not happening. I've never been polled in my life. I have. Have you? Once. Where were you? In my dining room. The phone rang. I said, ah, I'm going to pick this up. I don't know what. I, I never pick up anything. And I picked it up. And it was for the 2020 election. Really? Yeah. Once. The presidential election. Presidential election. Yeah. Yeah. One time. Yeah. Like, I get the Rose of yeah. the Laurel fucking text all the time, even though I respond yeah. stop yeah. every it, time she fucking sends it yeah, to me. I, you know, um, I get the... I get the text, the blind text, but yeah. I'm talking, this was a phone, phone call. call. I happened to pick up. You know what, too? It actually said polling at, it? on the phone. Maybe that's why I picked up. Now, let me ask you this. Yeah. How, how, how honest is this shit? Was it like, were you like actually, put, was it automated? Oh, no, I had uh, or was some, I, dude talking. some dude talking to me. So yeah, he's yeah. sitting here with his paper. Yeah. Oh, Rich Missella. Okay. Yeah, 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 who are you yeah. going to vote for this yeah, year? Yeah, it might. I don't and know. And you're going to go Trump, and he's like, fuck that. And he fucking types in fucking Biden. 
Sure. Because yeah. polls can yeah. influence how people vote. 100%. That's why I don't even trust the polls. Right. That's what yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. This, I don't even, Trump is yeah. polling the same exact way he did in 2016. 100%. Yeah. Better. Be- well, yeah. Better. Better than yeah. 16 and 20. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, that's great. Yeah, I've never, yeah. I've never been pulled, and I've been pulled over yeah. in the street and asked questions. Yeah, I've never been invited to a, uh, yeah. a, 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 what do they call those? Uh, uh, like CNN will have them. Like the, the, they'll have like the ten people sitting in a room. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. What do they call those things? I can't yeah. fucking remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's, they're all like moderate, or in the, like independent. Yeah. You know, which way do you sway? Yeah. Focus yeah. group. Focus, focus group. groups. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it would come to me. Yeah, fucking focus group. Yeah, it's just again the, the debate post debate. All of it. It's just the word frustrating. Yeah. It's just frustrating that that's where the hell we are right now. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's, there's no common sense. It's frustrating. You, you can't, you, you know, you're worried about if I say something, am I going to offend somebody or, right. you know, so that's why I mostly, you know, you, you joke around, we text back and forth. But in general, you know, I, I learned, I call it Hell's Kitchen rules, right? You don't talk politics, you don't talk religion. Right. I learned that a long time ago. Growing up, you never knew what your neighbors, who they were voting for no. politically. Like, you, you know what I mean? Right. May, maybe like the sign would go up in November and, right. oh yeah, you know, whatever. But um, now it's like, holy crap, you know, you keep, it, 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 it leads to nothing good. Right. The whole political, who you like and... So I was, I was a good no. friend of mine. We, we kind of jokingly, he's a liberal. We go yeah. back and forth. He just hates yeah. Trump. I don't even think he's a liberal. I just think he hates Trump. Yeah, yeah. And we were going back and forth, whatever. And it's dawned on me last night, like, when was, when was Trump the fucking devil? Like, when did that happen? Like, because all these celebrities were buddy-buddy with him. Oh, everybody loved Trump. Everyone yeah, loved him. New York, I mean, was New it just because he was running for, like, is there a specific date? Where it just all turned on him. Yeah, I think the date was the day he came down that escalator in Trump Tower. And he was the mark. 100%. Yeah, yeah man. You you know, um, Donald Trump was New York. Like, Look, they are so... They, they, wanted, they wanted him to get killed. That yeah. Day. Like, L- listen, how- what you got to remember, if you think back, when he was talking, got serious about... I'm going to run for president. Right. Nobody knew if he was going to run as a Democrat right. or a Republican. Republican. Right. And Bloomberg kind of had the the hold on. He was like the billionaire out of New York that right. was the Democrat. And uh, I think, you know, Trump just kind of rolled to the, to the center right yeah. with everything. And he ran. And that was it. I think when he came down the escalator it was, yeah. you know, I think, listen. But still then, they, they thought it yeah. was a pipe dream that he would actually... I remember win the nomination. Yeah, let no, him win the they, they they were clowning him. Right. Yeah, they were clowning him for Tom the most Hanks. part. I remember the everybody. He'll oh. never. Yeah, he'll never become no. president. Yeah. Why so. are we even having this conversation? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, because you're putting a fucking murderer in fucking Hillary in the fucking office. Yeah. I mean, seriously, like, what the fuck? Yeah. Thank God she didn't run. Thank God they didn't pick her. I mean, I, I, I Kamala is probably worse, but. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of done talking about it. Yeah, um, switch uh, yeah, switch it up, man. Yeah. yeah, there's, you know, God, God bless everybody. Yeah, whoever. Well, I'm going to talk about this every yeah. week till the election. Yeah, every week who, if she wins afterwards. Who, so. Yeah, listen, if you're voting for Harris, God bless you. Good for you. You're voting for Trump. Good. Yeah. Have at it. You know. Um, but like, vote for your family. Yeah, like, man. Like, vote, yeah, like, vote for finance. Vote for yeah. like, fucking fiscal. Yeah, you you got to vote for what makes sense to you and where and you, you feel you want the country to you go. Vote man. for joy. Yeah, yeah. So they they promote joy. Yeah, that's their that's their mantra. That's their fucking yeah. s- s- tagline. Yeah. But yet, there's if you just like if you're never on Twitter, just go on Twitter and just see how the vitriol that comes out of these left. The yeah, it's you, fucking yeah, insane. It's, it's, they yeah, swear, yeah. they fuck you, blah blah blah. Like, and some of these guys, like I grew up on Keith Overman. He has lost his fucking mind over yeah, Trump. Yeah, man, lost his yeah. mind. Yes, you know Dan Patrick's still doing his thing in Milford, yeah. but not Keith Overman. He's yeah. living in his basement, fucking yep. just spewing literally like some of his shit. I feel like, yeah. like really crossed the line as far as like he wishes death on people. Yeah, it's not cool. That's not yeah, cool at all. Yeah, you gotta just here's here's where we'll leave it. Right, just ask yourself why. Yeah. You know. Why? Why do they? Why are they so hell bent on on 
right. him, you know? I, 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 well, I mean, I have my own theories on Oh, that. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I still, can't, still say it yeah. comes down to child pedophilia, but, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. that's, he wants to, I don't know. I've talked about that on the show. Yeah, there, you know, there's I the mean, whole it's, left, right, the whole yeah. deep state thing yeah. and all that good stuff. Yeah, in the swamp, all that. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, yeah. it, there's a lot of truth in that, though. There is. I don't know all yeah. of it, but there's, yeah. there's definitely when, yeah. you know, it's funny, like, conspiracy theories are being, like, proven right by the day. <laughs> oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like we were idiots during well, COVID. Yeah. Like, well, you know what? Yeah, but listen, growing up, if you just open your mind to the whole idea of the JFK assassination, Right, you would say, huh? Right. Did one guy really pull that off yeah. from the book depository? Yeah. Two clean shots. Yeah. That really happened. Yeah. No. Back right. The and then <laughs> guess what? The next day he gets whacked. Right. Yeah. And then you got the whole yeah. thing with the kid that tries to take out Trump, and then yeah, he, yeah, gets, he whacked. gets whacked before we can ask. It's him just questions. Yeah, yeah. It's just you know that that's why it's conspiracy theories. Yeah. You know. So uh, yeah. We'll move. We'll move on. We'll keep moving. All right. Let's go into the little sports. Yeah, man. Crazy week in sports. So yeah. uh, two topics I want to hit. Let's do Tyree Kill because that was yeah. that was uh, yeah. last Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't want to like talk race about this because I really it, 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 like to me. And like, I know I'm white. I'm privileged. I've been pulled over plenty of times. Yeah. Just, I, I you know. Be respectful, get your ID, do sure. what you say, and move on. Yeah. And get it, take it, or don't. Yeah, I've been pulled over. Yeah. And what I what I was taught coming from a family of law enforcement, you get pulled over, ten and two on the yeah, wheel. Yep. Yeah. Have your license and registration, registration ready. ready. Window down. Yep. And be respectful. Just good afternoon, officer. Yeah. How can I help you? And here, license ready, here you go. Yeah. You know. So Tyree Kill gets pulled over by a, a motorcycle cop. Yeah. Heading to Hard Rock Stadium for the game. And so I didn't really like it. All came out, and then and then the body cam footage came out. Yeah, and that's where I'm like, "What the fuck, Tyreek?" All right, first of all, his fucking car had like blackout tinting. Yeah, and they and he he literally yeah. he knocked on the window. He didn't hit it with his flashlight. Sure, or, sure. You yeah. know, and he rolled it down like this much. Right, and then he rolled it back up. Well, rolled, but you know, yeah. he put it back up. Yeah. You can't like if you're a cop, like. All right, let's be honest. You, you guy's driving a four hundred thousand dollar car. He's probably not going to be blowing at you, fucking with a gun sure, behind that. Sure, but yeah. in today's world, who the fuck knows? Yeah, and you can't see in there. No, and he's telling you, and he's, he's basically disobeying your orders. <laughs> yeah. So I had no problem with the cop. Like, all right, get the fuck out. I mean, after yeah. that was, I'll, I'll give you an excessive. I'll give you my take on but it. But it right? should have never gotten to that point. Right. See, that's the thing. It should never got there. Um. You're, you're, you're Miami Dolphin, big star on the team. You're flying down in your Lambo. Uh, you're doing 100 miles an hour. You got the tents. I, that that might even be me. Yeah. Uh, if I'm in my Lambo making friggin' $100 million. I'd be like, dude, I'm Tyree Kill. And I'm Tyree Kill and I'm on the Dolphins. And I'm flying. Yeah. I might do that too. Yeah. So I get that, right? Um, He's got the money to pay but, the fine. you know, when you get pulled over, that's where you got to start making the decisions, right? right? That right. I am Tyreek Hill. Right. I am a professional athlete. Right. I am a supposedly a role model or a leader on the team. And if the cop pulls me over, you, hey, roll down the window. Hey, listen, I'm 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 late. I'm late to get to the locker room. Right. Right. You know, not to say, do you know who I am? Right. But, um, hey, listen, I'm a player on the right. th- I'm, I'm late. Listen, I, 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 know, I, apologize listen for speeding. I, I apologize for speeding. If you need to get me a ticket, I, I get it. Quickly. Yeah, I get it. You know right. what I'm saying? Because um, you get fined yeah. as an NFL so player. So then you get to the part where that could have, should have happened. That didn't happen. So now the cops are doing whatever. Whatever right. shit they're on, ego-wise or whatever. Um, They do the whole thing, with, you know, get out of the car and all that. But... I must say, even being a guy, a little guy with who supports law enforcement to the fullest, those guys were kind of dicks. Right. I feel they were kind of dicks. I do um, too. I think they could have put two and two together, right? Like, okay, hey, uh, hard, you can almost see the Hard Rock Stadium yeah, like, like the fucking like, background, like Lambo, <laughs> right? McLaren. It was a McLaren. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, McLaren. McLaren. It was a McLaren. You're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> McLaren. I only know that from Brady. You know. You know what do you you know what are you doing? You're you're driving 100 miles an hour in a McLaren. Right. You know what are you are what are you late for? 
Hey, I'm 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 uh, Tyreek Hill. I'm late for right, right. All right, listen, dude. You can't. I'd be like, yo, give me your yeah, autograph. Yeah, yeah, you, <laughs> they listen, can't do that with body cams. Yeah, though, yeah right. Yeah. yeah, but listen, you can't do that. You got to keep it under control. Listen, I'm gonna. I'm, we want you to get to the. We want you to get there safe. You know, keep it slow. I'm gonna give you a warning. Right. I'm gonna give you a warning. Don't let us catch you again doing this. Actually, I'd be like, do you, you know, need a police escort? Do you need a police escort? <laughs> right. One hundred percent. How right. far? Let, yeah. Listen, let, we'll, let us we'll, get, you we'll there. get you there. We want to get you there safe. Yeah. But you can't. You know. Can't, can't do, do that. Right. Yeah. So I'm, I'm a little, I'm, I'm both ways on this because I felt like once he was out of the car, I didn't really see him being a complete asshole douche out of the right. car. He was like, he was like, say, hey, he, he was like, hey, 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 he was like, all right, man. He goes, right, all right, right, all right, 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 you know, right. he he wasn't resistant at that point. Right, what? Right. And and they 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 kind of kept the it Kalias on. Campbell like yeah. putting him in cuffs was fucking weird. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, what? What are you yeah. doing over there? Like, I, I, I just didn't get that part. Yeah, they were just, you know, hey, um, you know, again on that part, don't interfere with what's going on. Yeah, but they really weren't interfering. They were kind of just, again, I'm going on what I saw. Right. They popped out of the car. The guy was like, "Hey, that's Tyreek Hill, man. Listen, we got a game. He's, right. you know, he was like, hey, they got Tyreek in cuffs, and yeah. and and the cops are, like, you don't get out of here. All right, you're, yeah, you're, like, you know, like, all right, you know." There was a little. There, there I was. Mean, Campbell's a big fucking dude. Though. Yeah, he's a big dude, man. There, there, there was something definitely going. I, I again, I, <laughs> again, down the middle, just like we were talking yeah. before. Like both parties. Both parties are wrong. Both parties could have done. But that again, if the first party doesn't es- make but, them escalate it, but see, that's in all these situations yeah. you see on the internet with the getting pulled over. Yeah. And, uh, those guys are something else. The ones that oh, purposely, yeah. try to get pulled over so they could like right. Film it and fucking I, I get, piss the cop yeah, off. I get lives, and, man. That, right. Yeah. Um, but in this case, both, both parties could have done better. But cause and effect. Right. If he didn't do that, he would have never been in that situation. Right. 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 Yeah. And well, again, if, 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 if you were speeding, whatever. Yeah. You, come on. Oh, just own that. Yeah. Own that part. I, yeah. Oh, man. Listen, I was. I'm, I'm late for my game. This car goes so fast, you right, know. Right. I just hit the gas. And yeah, off. yeah. Like, you whatever. know, man. Just I'm sorry about that. You yeah. know, I, I'm late for the game. I'm late to the locker room. Well, who are you? Hey, man. I'm Tyreek Hill. Oh, hey. You know, that it could have gone that way. Of course, but it didn't. And, and my favorite comparison, like ES, the ESPN, that Stephen A. Whenever we're going to talk about it in a second. Yeah. You know, uh, talking about uh, Scotty Scheffler. Yeah. And, yeah. Well, you know, Scotty didn't get like wrestled to the ground. No, Scotty actually went to fucking jail. Yeah. <laughs> He fucking was stretching in his jail cell yeah. to get ready for golf. So yeah. stop with those yeah. fucking racist babies. Yeah. Like, well, come well, on. Well, well, didn't it come out that Scotty Scheffler didn't Did do nothing. anything? He didn't nothing. do anything. Yeah. The, he just was following yeah. one police's orders, and the other yeah. guy came up and literally with the flashlight banged on his window and yanked him out of the car. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty much a similar scenario. Yeah. Well, Scotty wasn't even asked. Right. You know, like to roll down your window, let me see your license registration. It was a totally like yeah. different situation, but at the same time. Scotty spent time in jail. Tyreek Hill did not. He got to the game on time and scored yeah. a touchdown. Yeah, man. But yeah. I don't know. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. It's uh So let's let's stay with the Dolphins. So Thursday night, yeah, the, big, man. the big shit. Yeah. The one the Dolphins suck. Gronk 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 cracks me up though. Did you see his commentary on it? No. He alright. Um so Fox News had Gronk on. Yeah. Is this after the game? This was after the game the next morning. About Tua or? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And he said, yeah, the, the whole topic was, should he continue to play football? Right. Well, right? That's, yeah, that's what we're going to get into. Gronk's exactly. a funny yeah. bastard. you got to find that interview. Yeah. He goes, you know, <laughs> I had four or five concussions. He goes, that probably explains a lot about how I am. <laughs> and everybody started laughing. But he said, considering the contract they gave him, he's guaranteed 100 mil. Yeah. They, you know, like, you know. You're going to give the guy 100, 150 mil and tell him to write off it. Like, yeah. you got to want him to get better and play. But after four or five concussions, if protocol says he can't do it anymore, that fucking sucks for the Dolphins. Yeah. Well, he's, was it 100 no, or 150? So, so, uh, well, he's getting probably 200, probably four, 200 million. So, probably 50 a year. Uh, That's a lot of cash, man. Well, yeah. So, but, but the NFL has a. Uh, uh, I forget what the clause is called in their last collective bargaining agreement, but well, let's just uh, say it. there's a clause he, in his there contract. A clause where he, 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 it's up to him. You know, they yeah. can't cancel him. They can they can hold him out for games, but once he's medically cleared, yeah, and maybe they 
Maybe he walks away. I don't think he does. Yeah. I think he's probably going to miss two games and he'll be back. Yeah. Uh, Let's go back to the play. All right, so the play of all Let's people that play. hits him is DeMar Hamlin. Yeah, but but hold on. He didn't even hit him. No, it, was, it wasn't like he, this like, he, helmet to helmet shit. No, he didn't, he didn't even wrap him right, up. He right. just mm-hmm. body bumped him. I mean, a full speed body bump. Right. He's going full speed into him. Right, right. And why the fuck didn't he slide? I, I, I don't know. That's classic. And, 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 and it's like, it's a, it's a meaningless play. Yeah. It's 31 10 with a minute left. You're not winning that game. Just go really. down, bro. Just slide. You already had the first down, too. Yeah. Just go down. Yeah. yeah. You got well, that. That's that's yeah. where he needs to change his game. I don't think he's a good quarterback anyway. Yeah. But that's just me. Yeah. So Friday morning, I get up. Yeah. And since I've started my new job, I it's actually beautiful that I don't. Because I get up and I turn on Sports Center yeah. or I turn on Fox FS1. Yeah. And yeah. I just hear these buffoons talking. Sure. So Fridays, I'm not working right now. Right. So I, I get up and I. Have uh, first take or whatever that fucking yeah. big show is. Yeah. It's it, literally it's background noise for me. I'm usually yeah. on my computer doing right. shit. Yeah. So they go around the panel and like whenever it's like something like this happens, it could be anything. The the, the two a concussion, nine eleven. It doesn't matter. They the, the the whole demeanor changes in the fucking like. Yeah. You know, it's almost like they put like like dramatic music on in the background as yeah. they're all going to talk seriously about this and yeah. he should retire. Yeah. So Stephen A. goes. I don't have this, the 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 audio on Stephen A.'s rant. Yeah. But we're going to go into what L. Duncan started saying. But preface the L. Duncan stuff, which yeah. this is what I, I literally was like on my computer. I lifted my head up. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Mm-hmm. So Stephen A. was talking about how. He is selfish, and he makes money for his family and his kids, but he's selfish and doesn't see them. And he goes on this whole rant about, it doesn't matter, I'm here for the... Like, like he's basically saying he's not around for his children. Like, well, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. Like, come on, man. So, whatever. So, now it goes into L. Duncan talking. So, they're all talking about the football mentality. Yeah. And get on the field. You know, you know Ryan Clark's like, I had a thousand concussions and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Whatever. So... Al Dun- now here's Al Duncan. Have you heard yeah. this yet? No, I, I'm right. I'm excited to hear this. Right, I didn't so hear this Stephen yet. Stephen A. gets yeah. up to Al Duncan, and this is what Al Duncan yeah. has to say. All right. Now, now, mind you, she's a, a black woman, ESPN reporter or whatever you want yep. to call yep. it. Listen, as someone who is a woman who has two scars that go from hip to hip because I've had two C-sections in an effort to provide for my family and create a family for my family, I understand sacrifice. A black woman in this country whose mortality rates are incredibly high, I understand making sacrifices and trying to mitigate risk when it comes to your family, expanding your family and protecting your family. So there, what the fuck does that even mean? She had C-section. That she's equating her life because black women have a high mortality rate? Yeah. I, I just didn't understand what the fuck I'm she not, was saying. I'm not connecting the dots on that. No. She she had She's trying to insert herself into the conversation that she's making sacrifices for her family because she had a C section. That I don't know. What's the what what I should have looked up the percentage of C sections uh, for kids. Yeah, that that to me All my friends yeah. made ninety percent of my friends had C sections. Yeah. And she has these scars that remind her of the sacrifices. That she put towards her. How does what does that have to do with Tua and a fucking concussion? No, that he's probably gonna have CTE when he's 50 nothing. I think you kill himself. You nailed it, man. She just tried inserting herself into that conversation, <laughs> and she didn't have anything else. I'm like, right? I'm yeah. like, dude, I looked up. I didn't yeah. know why did. I'm like, yeah. what the yeah. fuck did she just say? Yeah, I would have rather. That's ESPN now. Wh- not self-care. Now, now what she should have done there is That's not good. not insert herself and take that take, mm-hmm. but maybe do some research on CTE. Equate, right? Equate what happened to Aaron Hernandez and that shit show of a whole fucked up thing that happened. Remember? Yep. Because he got banged in the Dude, head a few a, times. By the way, there's a show ne- coming ne- out. Netflix, right? No, no, there's a new one coming out on like Hulu. Oh, is it Hulu? This month. It's one of those Peacock or something. No, I think yeah. it's. I think is it Peacock? It's Peacock. Because I was watching that. Friday I saw the commercial for it. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Um, maybe kind of go that route with a little research and right. some data on you know. Uh, how that impacts players. Um, what, what was the guy for the San Diego Chargers? Great guy. Oh, Junior Seau. Junior Seau. Had the life by the balls. Yeah. For his career. So maybe she, maybe that route versus the whole thing about C sections. You, <laughs> yeah. you want to know? I, so just, I, just, I just googled the mortality rate of C sections. Yeah. Five point eight one per one hundred thousand procedures. 
that has we have a bigger risk getting in our car driving getting home, getting killed on the way home. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, spare me your C section yeah, bullshit. That really didn't make any sense. She could have been douche of the week, but then yeah. somebody trumped her last yeah, night. Yeah, so, yeah. Like said, see, I did that trumped her. Yeah, that uh, that made no sense, man. Yeah. So I yeah. mean, which if like, let's let's analyze it like this. Yeah. So instead so, of telling Tua what so to where, do, what where, would you do if you were Tua? Where where did that go with Stephen A? Did he did he just kind of sit back and agree with that? Whole yeah, thing? yeah, they all agreed. Molly Karen was like, yeah, yeah it would be wonderful. You said that beautifully. That's all they do. Man. I got four it's, letters for you, baby. Yeah. ESPN. <laughs> who owns who who owns ESPN? Disney, of course. I got oh, five. I, I got four letters and I got five letters. Yeah. <laughs> Six letters. Yeah, I was like, wait a second. No, yeah. That's not. That's yeah, not here. six letters. What um, would you do if you were Tua? I mean, that, I think that's the question that should be asked. You can't get into his head, not, no pun intended, but like. Honestly? I'd fucking call it a day. I'd call it a day. I, if that was just my first or I, second, maybe all right. But like, he literally went into that yeah, like, fucking. Five in. Take, you got your and, money. And, and, it, and, and it's not even taking the money and running. It's. Five, I got fucked up. And ESPN will hire yeah. you at $2 million a year 100%. to yeah. fucking... I'm good. I yeah. got, at Go that on Monday point, Night Football or something. At that point, I got nothing to prove. I don't want another concussion. I mean, unless he changes you know? his style of play, but at this point... It, it, but that doesn't even matter. Right. I, well, does, no, I mean, like, no, it does because, like, he's diving headfirst in a meaningless fucking play. Uh, to- Slide. Totally get that, but... Be more protective figure. I mean, you could still get hit. So Behind the line. What, what I mean yeah. by it doesn't matter is right. he gets sacked in a game that because his other his, yeah again it's not his first time smacking his head against the ground right it would be his sixth time getting a concussion from smacking his head on the ground right, right. so it's I, I'd go I'd I'd pack it in yeah yeah like I, and that's not me being soft that's like no. fuck that man I like you know well, I'm Ryan good. Clark on the same show was was saying beforehand. How, like, it's a different mentality now. Like, back in my day, your day was fucking 10 years ago. Shut the yeah, fuck up. Yeah, yeah, Like, throw, throw yeah. on fucking Mean yeah. Joe Green and see what he's saying about concussions. That's, that's, that's like, right, fuck baby. fuck you, Ryan Clark. You're yeah. such a fucking tool bag. Yeah, I, yeah. Hate, I hate Ryan yeah. Clark. Hey, let me let me add this to this conversation. Um, I saw... Um, it was the intro to NFL Sundays from 1977. And it came on every Sunday, dun dun dun, dun right? That yep, whole yep, thing. Yep, yep. You could go find it on YouTube or oh, whatever. Sure. Yeah, yeah. In that two minute opening, you had Mean Joe Green, you had Jack yep. Lambert from yep. the Pittsburgh Steelers, yep. Ed Two Tall Jones, some badass yep. motherfuckers, yeah. right? Yeah, oh yeah. Who, who played. I don't even know who they were for the Oakland. They were mean motherfuckers, the Oakland Raiders. So I grew they, up. They I grew up step- next to a to a, a, a an old Oakland Raider oh, player, did you? Bill was, Budness. Oh wow! Yes, okay. he was Stepping fucking on people's face. Oh yeah. So anyway, in this opening two minute opening, every single thing they showed is illegal now. <laughs> <laughs> like every play. Every play. Yeah. Like, like you dude, can't even the, the hip drop the, tackle the shit dude now. Catching like, the ball. Yeah. And getting just getting fucking crushed. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Face mask to face mask, the whole two minutes of it, it's a you can't do that. Now. Which which yeah. like I, I get it. So those guys, like, there's no gladiators anymore. These, People are like fucking fighting to the these, death. Like these you guys, progress. Yeah, these guys are a different breed. Yeah, they're you know what it's like. Remember Rocky IV when Drago, mm-hmm. you know he he had all the new technology. Whatever he hits, and, 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 he destroys. Yeah, if he dies. He, <laughs> he dies. Yeah, that's what it's like to me. Man. Yeah. these guys are faster, quicker. M- m- uh, better lives, better food, right. better supplements, better what? It, well, that's why look at LeBron James. As much yeah. as I fucking hate the guy, yeah. like, dude, his fucking body, he's fucking, mm, he's an Adonis. He really is, like, mm-hmm. and he's gonna be forty and still it's gonna yeah. sp- put up twenty four points a game. And, yeah. Uh, so I never, I never put him above Michael, but like, I, I, I am astonished about his physical, yeah, yeah. his physical way, and yeah. that, but a lot of that is he literally invests yeah. a million dollars into his body yeah, every man. year. Where were you going? I said, let me tell you about this NFL thing. You 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 were going to say something about uh, you, you fucking keep interrupting. I me, do. That's me. I have Jesus ADD, man. Christ. I'm sorry. ADHD. It's unbelievable. It's bad. I was going to give you some Tully fucking eighteen, but now you pissed me off. Oh, that sucks. Now I got to. Now you. Now, now I'm going to give you a fucking another, yeah, some yeah, whiskey I, fucking yeah. trail something. Yeah. Yeah. That looks good. The Kentucky straight. Yeah. Um, I don't know where was I going. 
I think I don't know. We were, we were just talking about yeah. how you know where. Oh, what would I, you know? What would I do? I'd pack. Oh it in. yeah, you just I, I would. I would. I would too. I, I'd pack it in, especially with like point. the CTE and all that yeah. that's come out. Like, yeah. like again, bring it back to Junior Seau. I I remember the last thing I saw him do was he was playing. He was at a Dodger game. Yeah, and he was like. He was either the third base coach for one inning, or he was doing something down the third baseline. Yeah, yeah. And I remember like a, a, a foul ball got hit, and he like jumped out of the way, and, and he just he had the infectious smile. I loved Junior oh, Seau, dude, great guy. Loved him, loved him, and yeah. and and like less than a year later, he fucking puts a bullet in his yeah. head. Like, yeah, he he had his own, own. He had like his own like Netflix show, or it was something he had. Yeah, and it man. was it yeah, was like just. Like it was like wild sports with Junior Say. I I I'm, I should be more prepared on that. I don't, but I remember no, I remember I the it, yeah, show. No, I remember the show. And that's what I mean. I, that's what I would send it to her. Look at look at look at just look at Junior Seau's do- documentary. Yeah. You know, like what, what's to his family dynamic? Do you know? He's Mary, got he's got kids. he's married. He's got two kids, I think. Right there, and they're young. He he's good. Go Cap. sit in the booth. Cap go out. do fucking go hang out with Saban on college game day. Tap like out. fucking yeah. They're gonna pay you. Yeah, tap out. You're gonna take yeah. a hundred million dollar check, or yeah, you already yeah, taken yeah. it home. Like, what else do you need? Yeah, uh, you, I, we got to follow your script because I know we have a certain time. But no, 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 we're good. Um, well, we're way ahead of time. Tom Brady again versus Tony Romo. So I think it's way too early. Way too early. I, what did you think? Of Tom, what did you think of Tom's debut? Nothing special. No, right? Yeah. But that's yeah. that's like yeah. to me, it's like watching a pilot for a sitcom. Yeah. Like, you ever seen the first Seinfeld? You're like, this show's kind of sucks. Yeah, it's kind of like, it, yeah, 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 it's just the same yeah. thing. Like, you yeah, watch a, yeah. a like, like a pilot. It's, it's like a pilot. It's like a legendary. Yeah. Seinfeld's but, legendary. But, you know, check back in yeah. two years when yeah. he's doing it. Yeah. And uh, no, I did read some weird shit, though, that because he's, if the ownership bid goes through for the Raiders, yep. he, he, like, he can't, like, he can't interview the players before the games. Yeah. There's yeah, like yeah, these yeah. clauses there, that you there's can't. some shit, man. Yeah. So, of interest yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So we'll yeah, see how that plays shit. out. Yeah. Um, I will say this, not just some a Cowboys fan. Yeah. Romo could call a game. I like Romo. Romo could him. call a game, man. He like literally yeah. knows the play before they're fucking playing. Yeah. Yeah. He's, I think he's pretty good at it. His commentary, his vigor, like while he's yeah. on the mic, I, I enjoy it. Like, I just, I can't stand yeah. Chris Collinsworth anymore. Like he just needs I to shut the ha- fuck up. I haven't liked Chris Collinsworth for the past fucking twenty years, yeah. man. He's just the, he's I think the last time I liked Collinsworth was when maybe he was on the Bengals and won the Super Bowl in right. ninety one or whatever it was. Right. I'm not I'm not a fan of his broadcasting. No. And Tony Romo and Joe, especially Buck. since he founded PFF, yeah. Pro Football Focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like he's just yeah. like because that's his yeah. company, and he's Romo, like, it's just, oh. the Romo Buck combination is the blue shirt equivalent mm-hmm. to the blue shirt. If Romo and Buck are calling a Cowboys game, we're gonna fucking lose. It's, <laughs> it's a jinx. It's mush. It's mush from a Bronx. Well, you're lucky they're CBS, like, right? I, so I, 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 yeah, I, yeah. I'm just saying, oh no, not Buck and Romo. Fuck. So, like, I, you know, yeah. we grew up on, you know, Madden and Summer All. Oh, dude. And, yeah, like, those yeah. are just, like, it was yeah. just iconic. Like, who's the, like, I like Aikman. I don't think he's the best, but. No, yeah. yeah but no, when you watch, when you watch football in, as much as we watch it, like, joke, it's, in my you feel like they're in your living room with you. Yeah, in my same joking breath. Yeah. Do you watch the Manning cast at all? I, can't, I hate these things. I can't. I'm, I hate okay, these here's things. Here's why. Here's why. Um, I'm not, fan, I'm not, like, big fans of the Mannings. Like. Well, one fucking, I'm a Cowboys fan, so right, you know, fuck Eli, Eli like, right? Dope, you yeah. know what I mean? I like Peyton. They're both but, dopes, but, but they're both fucking. Yeah, it's like I like Peyton way more than Eli, and I'm a Patriots fan. But, but, it has nothing to do with you that. You know what I hear when I hear? You know what I hear at the times I tuned in? Yeah, I heard a fucking Allstate commercial the whole time. <laughs> you know what right. I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That, that's what I equate Peyton yeah. to now. Allstate. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, I got a rocket arm. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I just but the, even the way they do it, like. It just doesn't appeal to me. I, I want, I want like, so I want, I want the real broadcast. I want the guys to, which, which I feel like I sit down and I don't think I could ever announce a game, but I know shit happens before they do. Like I'm like, no, that ball was out, yeah. or, or you yeah, know, that yeah, wasn't, yeah. that wasn't leave. You know, like I, I, and I get frustrated watching it sometimes with like, especially like Al Michaels, who's like 81 now, know. you know, and yeah, it's, it's like, rough. Yeah. you know, and the streaming shit fucking sucks. So I put the game on. I, I was already in bed yeah. by Thursday night game. Yeah, I have Prime, whatever. And it gets to halftime, and I'm like, now I have to log off. I have to switch my feed. I have to, yeah. you know, just to flip around for 15 minutes and then do it all over again. Yeah. Yeah, you suck with microphone. I'm you know, that's why you're a bassist. I'm good. Right? Yeah. Do you sing? No. At all? In the shower. 
No, like you, you're not background vocals no, at all. I, oh, I would. Not. Thank God. Fuck thank that. fucking God. I, uh, Ink would stink if you were singing. Ink would. Stink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my fucking. Yeah. Ink would stink. Twenty twenty four. I got no. Uh, in the shower though, I, I'm good. I, I sound like George Michael. Yeah. I, I got Do in the shower. Fuck yeah, dude. Elton John. I, Fred, love, I Fred, love Elton John. Freddie Mercury. I got no I got five octaves in my voice <laughs> in the fucking bathroom. Yeah. The, the reverbs on. on the oh god. No, 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 no singing for me, man. Just no. Um, just That's bass. good. No, we don't. We don't need that. Straight up. Don't um, you don't have a microphone in front of you. What happened? You don't even have a microphone in front no, of you. No. So they're no. so the I'm, Gods brothers I'm, aren't even like putting a fucking. Sal, Sal don't have a mic either, baby. Just Steve. Uh, just the. Yeah. Uh, I'll go. I'll go one step further. At any show, if they set up a mic, I go right up to it. I undo it. I, I fucking bend it down. Yeah, I, I got no. Yeah, I got no. If you guys need backup vocals yeah. for a, for a show one night, let's call me up. Come up. I'll just yeah. fucking get up on there. We'll give you the lyrics. Yeah. Give you the lyrics. Um. Yeah. No. Uh, Romo. Buck, Jinx, um, but I do like the way Romo, uh, Aikman, Buck, Jinx, but I, yeah. I love I love the way Romo calls a game. I do, I, I do, you know? I, I think he's yeah. good. Like a lot of people yeah. hate him. I don't. I think it's just a, a well, Dallas he's thing. A cowboy. Yeah, yeah they, I think that's they it. Hit the Cowboys. Yeah, you know? um, I like Kirk Herb Street for whatever reason. Yeah. I just like it. Is it too early to make some predictions about this year? No, we'll get to that. I got it. Yeah, we're okay. in no rush. Right. We're in forty five no, minutes. I'm yeah, good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, yeah. Should I get this? Should we go back? Can we circle back to Kamala real quick? Sure. Go ahead. All right. So I got this clip. I sent it to you last night. I literally oh, laughed. They, they, yeah. This is a military clip. Yeah, yeah. So I, I literally laughed. Before, like I LOL'd. Before literally. Before you play this clip. Yeah. I don't, I don't have... We don't have to have commentary. No. Because the clip... Speaks, speaks for, itself. for itself. So if, if you're going to listen to this, but... but Find it on the internet. It's not on YouTube. I so, got it. I got it. Well, I, I sent it to yeah, you. Yeah. Well, I got it through Twitter. And after, yeah, and after you sent it, you, I, I, I was busy doing shit at home, and I saw you sent me something. I, you know, you get in those things where you got like five messages waiting for you because you're busy. And yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, got, yeah, yeah. You know, who texts my wife? Yeah. You, you know, and um, I, I clicked on it. And you could lean a little more into that mic. Sorry, that'd be yeah, fucking man. fantastic. That's you have a really fuck. sultry. I can hear your octaves now. Jesus Christ. You're leaning back over there. I'm here. I'm here. So um, I, I, I play the video, and I had the volume low. I need better. Mic. And I'm like, what? I'm like, what? I'm like, what is this? Right? Then I redid. I replayed it, cranked the volume. And I'm like, oh fuck! I was like, that's not a good look. <laughs> now I don't know where they are. I don't either. So, but it doesn't. Matter. It hasn't been fact checked yet. It doesn't matter. But that was from five nights. I, I, it's it's going to be. I find it hard to believe that six people got together, threw fatigues on mm-hmm. in a tent somewhere, right? And made this. It said right. Non military people and made this right. as a joke. Right. No, I believe. I believe it too because there's like believe, one dude like eating dinner yeah, and out no, of a styrofoam I, I, fucking yeah, container. It's a real deal. Yeah, I really do. So, so the clip I'm going to. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, it's only audio uh, for the ones listening, yeah. but. Uh, definitely search. It's, it's not hard to find on Twitter. You yeah. follow. Well, fucking. set it up. Set it up for this. So, yeah, yeah. So this is so this is uh, the video basically sets you up watching David Muir ask Kamala about uh, Afghanistan and the pullout, yeah. and and yeah. this is how she reacts. And then towards the end, is you're going to hear yeah. actual military whoever, whoever took the video, yeah whoever's pan, taking the video. They pan out yep. to everybody in a tent somewhere in the world. Yep. So, so here, here it is. Yeah. said they would, and Joe Biden did. And as a result, America's taxpayers are not paying the $300 million a day. We were paying for that endless war. And as of today, there is not one member of the United States military who is in active duty in a combat zone in any war zone around the world. The first time this century. what? But let's understand. So where the fuck are we right now? <laughs> <laughs> You literally gotta find this video because yeah. seeing these like seven guys in this fucking yeah. tent, yeah. and like how many lives were in this? Like th- it, it cost us three hundred million dollars a day to have active members over over in a sure. war zone. Yeah, yeah. I, I, Let's see how much that calculates yeah. to a year. Three hundred million, million, she said, right? Yeah, times times three sixty five. 
Billions. is one. Yeah, it's about a billion dollars a yeah, year. Yeah. There's no fucking way that's what it costs. Yeah. We don't pay these guys shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so go find that video. Yeah, I literally yeah. was just, it, it, like, this is. And David Muir didn't fact check her. No. 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 If Trump said that shit, yeah. no, it would be all over it. All right. So where are we going next? I'm going to bring one thing up for we We're go. going to football after all this. Right. Little, and then we'll finish with Douche of the Week. We're kind of backtracking a little bit. I know. Um, I, I, well, it's in my notes. I'm like, I got to play this video. So. I lost my train of thought. Fuck it. Keep going. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, that one Viva, dude. Yeah. yeah. The Vivas aren't kicking in. No, I had yeah. something, and then we were talking, and I forgot. So, anyway, if keep it going. pops if up, yeah, keep going. Uh, All right. So, you're a Dallas fan. I'm a Patriots fan. Yeah. We are in a fucking collision course right now for the Super Bowl. Both 1 0. Yeah. Both with big wins on the yeah, road. Man. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Who you got this weekend? Seattle at home. Home opener. Oh, okay. You should have that. I I mean I, I feel good. We're only we're 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 underdogs by three and a half. G- who's there? Gino? Gino Smith. Yeah. We're gonna yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. The one thing I you know, I was I was, I was yeah. super worried about Gerard Mayo because he was saying all the wrong things in yeah. the camp. Yeah. But I I have said I said this in my football thing last week, uh before the game. I said, Listen, the Pats are gonna win this game. They're not going they're not going winless. And our defense is going to win us games, mm-hmm. I, and that's exactly what happened. Like defense wins games. The plays in that Cincinnati game, like the, when we stripped the ball, like right by the end zone, and and prevented the touchdown, and like that. That's everything that went against us last year. Yeah. Like we, that was that's what losing two teams do. Mm-hmm. Like I'm betting KC big tomorrow yeah. against Cincinnati because yeah. T Higgins is out again. Yeah, and they just look at the blueprint of the Patriots did to him. Just the fucking double Jamar and fucking Casey's call it a day. Right, man. Yeah, they're good. You know, yeah. and uh, I, I will have some a couple picks at the end of the show too. But yeah. uh, and then and then I watched the Dallas game, mm-hmm. and Cleveland's got a good defense, and you guys fucking torched them. Look, uh, you know, I'm definitely not a douche Cowboys fan. I'm a very humble Cowboys fan. Yeah, do I want it? Do I did I feel good last year that we could have gone through? I did. We actually we had a contending team. Well, that is that is but the yeah. We just couldn't, couldn't. That's the inevitable with the Cowboys. Tied up and we couldn't get there. Sounds familiar, right? Um, Are you happy with Dak's contract? I'm happy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, all we got left just uh, what's his name? Mika, right? Yeah. Parsons. Yeah. I mean, of the big guys. Yeah. Yeah. And and he, sh- if there's someone who is deserving of a contract, he is deserving. Yeah, you know, because and they moved his position. Yeah, yeah, he's the kids, he's done everything they asked of him, yeah, and he him. performs at such a high level. I love, I love he's Michael won Parsons. Games for us I year. love him. He's one game. Penn State, tough, baby, tough guy. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, man. Um, I think we're going to the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Saying, Who scares you in the division? Yeah, I'm not saying we're going. Super Bowl because I don't want to set myself up. No, you're going to be another 12 win team, yeah. and then and see how yeah. it plays out. Yeah, and let's right? see how it plays out. Right. Uh, you know, we got New Orleans tomorrow. I think we're home. Green Bay. Green Bay's yeah. going to be in trouble without. You know. Yeah. Um, what the fuck's his name? Yeah, I think the quarterback. I think hurt. we can have a good season. Yeah. You know. Uh, yeah. D- listen, they did the thing with Dak and with Mahomes, and they 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 looked at the stats. They're not too far off. Well, I mean, except for Super Bowl. Super Bowl win. Right. Well, there's three of them. Yeah. And, a, and a fourth appearance. 100%. <laughs> uh, I, I, you guys haven't made at, it to the fucking NFC Championship no, game yet. No question. What I'm saying is last year, when you just... At, when How you, heartbreaking is it to be a Dallas fan? It just... Uh, I'm like, so, you get yeah. to that game and you're like, oh, yeah. we're going to crush Green Bay. Yeah. Jordan Love's not ready for this. Yeah. And you just get trounced. Yeah. Like, does that ruin your whole, like, month, week, day... I get over losses very quickly. This, I get over losses. The next morning I wake up, I'm like, all right, season's at over. At this point, just a day. Yeah. Just, I wake, uh, that's, up, dude, wake I, up Monday and I'm good. It used to, I used to yeah. dream about the Patriots just losing, and it, I would wake up like, what the fuck? We, oh, yeah. wait, we didn't this, play This yet. isn't new. This isn't just Dak era. This was the whole Romo era. Yeah. The whole, the Romo era was killed by every game we'd be playing from behind, We'd come back in the last minute. We'd, we'd have the ball with two minutes or under left on the clock. Romo's driving us, and we always fell short. Yeah. So, I, I have no... That's why my, my expectations are so middle right now that I'm like, yeah, we got a good... We, got, we have another good team and another 12, 12, 12 wins, and 
It, it, we'll see where. Well, you're going to go five and it, one in your division it, it, at at it, worst. What, what's going on with the Eagles this year? I, I'm. I don't. I mean, I'm, I think. I think they're they're fine. Yeah. But I don't think they're twelve win fine. I think they're probably ten wins, nine so, wins. So they lost a step. Well, losing Jason Kelsey's huge because that eliminates yeah, that fucking yeah, tush push kind of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they got two good receivers, obviously. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're right. I mean, their defense is probably still pretty solid. Yeah. You know, uh, I don't know. Like, I, I don't yeah. know too much about him, That's but I, I like I like Hurts. To be honest with you, I don't mind him. Yeah. Um, but he's got a. He's got a yeah. fucking Gi- Giants. He's got, he's got to make a leap though. He hasn't made that leap not yet. Not worried about the Giants. But hey, listen, any given Sunday, man. True, but the, know, the Giants are bad. But the Giants, <laughs> Giants look suck. Terrible. Washington's gonna suck for. Yeah, the Reds. Games. I would worry about them in a couple of years with with if Daniels can stay healthy. Give him a little bit. Yeah, yeah I think they'll yeah. be fine. Um, as a Patriots fan, like I was so happy about the win, but I wish we had the win with Drake May playing. Yeah. Uh, I just, I just, whatever. If he sits the year and we win five or six, seven games, fine. Get another draft Does pick. Buffalo win your division again this year. Yeah, Buffalo looks good. Yeah. But, but here's the thing. Like you said, any given Sunday, everyone's gonna like, oh, Buffalo looks so good, and then they're they're, they're that team that's just gonna like fucking shit their pants at the I wrong like time. I feel like they're beatable though. Yeah, their defense, they'll, they'll give up points. Yeah, I feel like uh, they're beatable, Buffalo. You know, you know, Miami has no defense. The, the Miami, like, I was, I had no high. I literally, I know I'm a Pats fan, but it would not surprise me if we finished third in the division <laughs> behind. But I had a Miami, seriously. Did you see the picture? Especially now with two out. Holy shit. Did you see the picture of, uh, who, wait, who's the uh, head coach of the Dolphins? Uh, fucking Mike McDaniel Mike or whatever. McDaniel. Yeah. Did you see the picture? He's of fucking Daniel? weird, by the Did way. Did you see the picture of him from, like, four years ago? No. And then the one from now? It said, uh, uh, Tip, like he looked like a schoolboy, right. and I looks like a cocaine dealer from South, <laughs> South, South Florida. Beach, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's hysterical. He uh, he's just hysterical. a weird dude. Yeah, weird dude. Yeah, but he's uh, a little nutty. all right, I mean, we I did my predictions last week. So who who do you who do you got in the Super Bowl and winning it? I mean, it doesn't matter. But I like to. I like ah to. man, I, I and and you have any sleeper teams that might come? I mean, it's already you know almost done week two tomorrow. So I I don't know this year, man. It's I mean, is it KC? I don't know. Is it KC? I don't. Is it San Fran again? No. See, I don't think those uh, guys are. I, I don't, don't think, know. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. I don't know. Um. Oh, the Patriots line went from three and a half to three. I always love seeing line movements because yeah. Vegas is never really wrong. I mean, there will be bloody. They'll lose sometimes, but uh, like, you said, you who were your picks? So, so this is my three team parlay I'm playing okay. tomorrow. Hundred dollars. Uh, uh, Super Bowl prediction. Oh, 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 mine? Yeah. Was, uh, it was a rematch, but San Fran winning. That's what I'm saying. So that's yeah. right. That, what I just said out loud, where, is it San Fran? Is it KC? Right. I, I, I'm, that's where I'm at again. Yeah. Like, that, I mean, I don't, know. I mean, it could be too different. I but, mean, who in the fuck knows? I don't but, know, man. Yeah. I, you but know. This is my three team parlay tomorrow. Uh, McCaffrey's out. Cowboys. Okay. They're only giving six at home to the Saints. I think the Saints played Carolina. That was like just yeah, a layup yeah, for him. Dude, yeah. Uh, what was my other two? Hold on, I got it right here. Uh, who did I have? It was the Denver. Oh, it's Steelers at Denver. Steelers are given two and a half. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think the defense is just gonna mm-hmm. obliterate fucking what's his name. Yeah, Denver's. Yeah, and I got Casey crushing the Bengals. It's They're only given six. They're given less than a touchdown at home. At home. Yeah, you got that. Like that's my three teamer. Yeah. So Chiefs. Steelers on the road, and yeah. the Cowboys at home. Yeah. Cowboys are going to win by fucking twenty four. Who they got? Car now, New Orleans. Yeah, I mean whatever. They, yeah. they got in, 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 Kam- uh, Kamala. Yeah. <laughs> Kamara, Kamara's yeah. the name. And they got some guys, Chris Olave. But like, dude, they play Carolina. Yeah. Like, yeah. Cowboys home opener. Yeah. Like, it's dude. a statement for them. It's just, I they think gotta it's. got to be fired the fuck I off. say I think it's easy money. I had a really good year yeah. last year. I never bet week one because yeah. you just don't know. Be- I usually don't even be- bet week two, but I'm just throwing Cleveland, a stick out there. Beating Cleveland on the road, then coming home to be 2 0 to start the season. Right. That's a big statement for the Cowboys. Yeah. You know? All right. So let's get into my douche of the week. And douche it of the week. should be you because you guys have not recorded my douche of the week theme song. I know. <laughs> what I the know. fuck, dude? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Is it too much to ask? No, no. It'll take you guys fucking three minutes to put that together. Yeah. I want like I want a heavy too. Yeah. Douche of the week, douche of the week. Well, that's like the fucking. Yeah. I don't want like Dan Patrick's yeah. stat of the day, but I want it like. Yeah. It's, it's like ten seconds. I gotta, I gotta talk to the guys. Talk to the next time in the studio. Like, I right, just we'll probably make that happen. I, well, I was hoping. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm talking when you came back on, I would have had it. Yeah. Fuck. All I do for you, Rich. All I, I know, do for you. No man. <laughs> VIP, it's When's your next show, show, by the way? Uh, our next show is in d- 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 November. We're in the studio in October. Okay. New tune. Oh, by the way, I just want everyone to know that Rich yeah. came to visit me at Stonebridge and never even visited me Dude. at Stonebridge. Yeah, so Nicole and I, I said, you know what? Shameful. Let's go to Stonebridge. You owe me that song just for that I bullshit. Know, I know. So I said, let's go to Stonebridge. I'm going out of my we're way. Going. He's texting yep. me. I'm we're, getting his name on the we're door. We're on vacation. The next week, so Nicole and I, let's have a night out. Yeah. So let's go to Stonebridge. We'll grab some food. Uh, you guys got good food, right? So I said, let's do that. I said, you know, let me reach out to Jer, see what's going on. And you were nice enough to say, hey, man, let me grab you a VIP. Cool. Met up with you. We walk in through the VIP. We literally could not make it across the fucking front. I know. And that's where I saw Jay Mushad. Yeah. On, the stairs. on the stairs, yeah. yeah. It was the fun bags were playing, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, it was it, crazy. It was I get it. You, I wanted to come see you. Yeah. Campy, I wanted to come say hello to. Um, my Never dad, even Matt, saw your face, Matt, Rich. Matt was on the drums, drums for yep. fun bags. Yep. And uh, we, we we got stuck in the back, and then John was bartending, so we were bullshit. Yeah. But then we were like, fuck, we're hungry. So yeah, we I, went, you know, I, I, I get it, but yeah. you got you got to uh, you got to muscle your way just to say hello and rip a shot. Know, you know what I mean? I know, I know. That's why you're drinking the shitty yeah. fucking whiskey yeah, after this I, show. I, I got a lot fucking tell the eighteen's going to me. Yeah, a lot going against me tonight. All right, my douche of the week. So douche. hopefully soon I'll have a nice fucking little fucking song from Ink. You gotta make it happen. But this is music related, yeah. and this is kind of crazy. So yeah. Jane's Addiction played in uh, Boston last they night did. at a, a smaller yeah. venue, I think, not like Dee Dee Garden or anything. No, no, yeah. And uh, my douche of the week is uh, it, the, it should be the whole band, but. It's really Perry Farrell, the lead yeah. singer. Yeah. Uh, he basically attacked. So Dave Navarro is their guitarist. Now, Dave, if you don't know who Dave Navarro is, he was the one that was married to uh, Carmen Electra. Carmen Electra yeah. had a reality show and yeah. all that shit. Yeah. What were some of the other bands he was in? Uh, he was in. Um, he was in the Chili Peppers for a hot minute. Yeah, hot minute. Yeah. Um, he was not in Porno for Pyros, which is Perry's other band. I think, but is he is he is he Jane's addiction since yeah, day he, one? He's Jane's. He's, he's Jane's, Jane's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went to went to the chili. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So these guys have fucking been together forever, and yeah. I get like yeah. how people can fight. So yeah. yeah, on stage he literally goes after Dave Navarro yeah. and punches him in the face pretty much. He, and you could tell Dave yeah. was shocked. He yeah, was like, what the fuck? And he was they were screaming at each other. So security stepped in yep. and hustled Perry off yeah. stage. So I know the why. I, okay, uh, so so the why I think Perry's wife came out and released a statement. Right, so it was basically they were playing too loud. Too loud. He's got tinnitus. His voice couldn't get over the right. top. Right, and he, yeah, he couldn't yeah. hear himself. Yeah. So the monitors obviously yeah. he, weren't. He lost his shit. He lost his shit because yeah. he's the fucking lead singer and he's got you know. It's rock this is why you don't give fucking yeah. Rich a mic, you know? Yeah, like exactly. fucking leave it up to fucking <laughs> Steve. Yeah. So now the wife is recounting shit on Instagram, yeah. but apparently. When they went backstage, uh, Eric Avery is one of the co-songwriters and a guitarist. Yes. Apparently, he put Perry Farrell in a headlock and punched him in the stomach three times. Oh, good. Do you read that one? No, I didn't yeah. That. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So they're like, so now obviously Perry Farrell's wife is like yeah. defending it and all yeah. this shit. I don't know where the band goes from here, but like, dude, keep your shit together and do, you can't do this shit on stage. Yeah. Unless it's for publicity, you're, you're back. Is it was you think it was like possibly not at all. no no scripted no 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 I think these guys that, aren't in the limelight anymore. Yeah, I think that Perry. I think that there's been a lot of tension over the years with those guys. Yeah, listen, the the two leaders of Jane's addiction are Dave Navarro right, and fucking Perry, Perry Farrell. Farrell. Yeah, they're the rock stars, yep. right? Uh, you can even argue that Dave Navarro is a bigger rock star than Perry Farrell. Yeah, yeah, with the publicity, with yeah. the lecture, with the TV shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who knows what the fuck goes on behind closed doors? Right. But whatever happened, I don't think it was scripted. I think Perry lost his fucking. Mind. I always like think about you that. You got to think about, you know, those dudes did a lot of drugs over the years. Yeah, the heroin and all that shit, the wear and tear that takes. Who knows what mind they're in? You right. know what I mean? And, right. Um, but but we just don't know what was going on behind closed doors, right? Um, we don't. But you're, you know, you're saying at that they should be very grateful that they're still relevant, that they're on a reunion so, tour. That Perry Farrell's, I think Navarro's like fifty-seven. 
Yeah. And Perry's like 60 62. something. Yeah, yeah. 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 I and mean, they're they, fucking up they, there. They got to be grateful that they're still out right. there. Fans are still coming to see him and appreciate that shit. You ever seen him? No. I saw him in uh, no. Saratoga. They opened for Nine Inch Nails. They were, it was like actually pretty. In, in, oh, I know. Wait, I did see James. Yeah. This uh, was like 10 I, years ago. I was at Lollapalooza back in the 90s. Yeah. 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 What it, they they were part of the first year of Lollapalooza because Perry oh, Farrow oh, yeah. was Lollapalooza. Palooza, yeah. And James was on that on that on that bill, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so I did see James way back in the day. They were good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, everyone yeah. knows him for James. Yeah. Uh, like that's yeah. like that's like it's like yeah. you think these guys are one hit yeah. wonders, but they're not. No, they've they've, they, they've got, got a, they've a got James good Harris. catalog. They've yep. got uh, Ben Claude Stealing. Yeah. Uh, ben Claude Stealing. That's what I was five. five. Yeah. So you got Ben Claude Stealing. Um, the mountain song. Yeah, they, no, James, I know. I'm yeah, just saying, yeah, like yeah. The, 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 to the layman's, you know, person yeah, doesn't really listen to that shit. James yeah, there's two songs they know. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, no, they were good. But so, so yeah, that's my douche of the week. Is like hold your shit together. Yeah, hold your shit together, man. Or what? take a break. Yeah. It's, you know, just literally, like you can literally stop playing. Yeah. Turn the lights down or up or whatever. Go backstage, yeah. figure shit out, and come back out yeah. ten minutes later. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Or you know, you, you got your monitors. Yeah. You got your in ears. You got whatever. Just finish the song. Right, go to the sound guys. I can't hear my vocals. Yeah, I can't hear my vocals, dude. Our, 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 our walk off. Like, get, yo, get play, the, get the play band, guitar solo get right now. Band, I got to go figure this out. Walk off, get the band to come off. Right. With the idea you're going to come back on. Right. But, like, guys, listen. I can't hear my I voice. I can't hear shit. Right. So, could we, we got to adjust here. Right. It's night after night. Right. But that, I think that's the problem. It was night after night. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and he's got his health issues. Whew. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It's just fucking. Yeah, no. I want to see the video of him great, being headlocked. Though, great choice for douche of the week. Yeah. Um, yeah. That do you think it. they break up now? No. No. Or do you think he replaces Navarro? No. No. I think. You that, think this is just a I, one and done? I think it's a one and done. They take. A, they take a night off. They get their shit together. Cooler heads prevail. Um, unless he's at the point where his fucking throat's all fucked his up. His health is too much and, and he can't and do it. Like, can't he do retires. Do this yeah. Anymore. Right. right. If it's that, that's different. Right. right? So, but no, I, I mean, you you would think that they could apologize, yeah, get their shit together, and keep it rolling, you know, because they still have what the second half of the tour to go. Yeah, a lot of tickets. A lot of tickets. You don't want a refund. Yeah, man. You know, you know, get your shit together. Yeah, Perry. get it together, dude. Come on, Perry. Yeah, everybody knows you're a little fucking out there. Tie the arm off. Do a yeah. Fuck. Take a hot one in the fucking right arm and get your shit back on track, buddy. You know? All right, Rich. I appreciate you coming on the show. Yeah, man. Thanks um, for having me again. It's a good time. I like, I like that we text each other now about the dumb shit that's going yeah, on in this world. Yeah, I love craziness, it. I love craziness. it. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be in touch, close touch as the days go by. Yeah. When is that November show? I want to go. Is it on a weekend? So it is on a weekend. Beautiful. It is, it is at a place... Uh, so there's a. There's I want free tickets. I want backstage band. passes. There's a great band out there. I want free hot dogs. Band. Free hot dogs. Yeah, I want hot dogs, dogs, dude. Let's go. Uh, um, we're. It's called the Dirt Fest. It's at the place that's across from ESPN. What's that? Oh, in Br- Bristol. Yeah, not the um, Bleachers. Oh, I don't know. Is that Bleachers? I don't know. I've been there once. And um, it's going to be a good show. We're playing with a band. Sounds like I need a hotel dirt. room. Bristol's a fucking ride. Bristol's a fucking ride, dude. It sucks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I jump on where I live in Trumbull. I jump on eight. Yeah, go straight up eight through Waterbury, cut across eighty four. So yeah, it's a good half hour. So yeah, man, this was great. Thank you. No, thank yeah. you, man. Let's good uh, times. we'll have. I mean, you know what? Good. It was a good week to recap. Uh, it really was. It's, yeah, a, it's, it's a, like what will next yeah. next week bring? Yeah, a lot going from on. football to politics yeah. to fucking current events. Yeah, good time of the year to, um, to connect on it all. So. Yeah, I get my guns next week too. I'm excited. Ooh, yeah. yeah. What do you got? I got a couple Ruger nine millimeters coming, nice. and my seven shooter revolvers on back order, unfortunately. But man, good but stuff. But I'm ready. Man. I'm ready to get to the range and yeah. practice. I'm literally gonna have the gun for like like not loaded for like six months and just practice like holstering it. Yeah, yeah. That's like I, I just you gotta take it serious. You gotta take it serious. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. get the get the yeah. get the uh, thumbprint fucking yeah. safe and all that, and yeah, no one can touch it. it. Second, Second Amendment, Second. baby. That's it. <laughs> They're coming for our guns. Yeah. All right, brother. All right. Love Thanks you, man. Love you, man. Love uh, you, too. Inc., sometime yeah. in November, I'm going. Yes. I'm going. 
It's yeah. just not Thanksgiving weekend, right? It is the weekend before. Oh, even better. Yeah. I can't so, wait to see you guys again. I, I just don't know the date off the top of my head. So it's yeah, yeah, yeah. That whatever, Saturday. Whatever day that Thursday is, yeah. rewind it to that Saturday. Yeah. It's that Saturday. All right. Yeah, so. Sounds good. Check them out up in Bristol, Connecticut. Yes, I'll uh, I'll post on my Dirt Facebook. Fest. Dirt Fest. Dirt. How many bands? It's like one of those uh, big bands. Three or four. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah nice. The band Dirt is having us on. They're running it. What do they do? Uh, all original. Oh, yeah. Yeah, great band. So, uh, you, you know Opus? Yeah. So, Opus has the band Earth, which is a Black Sabbath tribute. Yeah. His lead singer, Ray, who pulls off the Ozzy Sabbath yeah, stuff, yeah. Ray is also the lead singer of the original band Dirt. Okay. And he's... Awesome. He's, yeah, it's good. good Sounds like a stuff. fucking nice little rock fest. Yeah, man. It will be. So, nice. Well, I'll, we'll see looking, you there. Yeah, we'll be looking forward to it. And next time you're in Stormbridge, come say hi. You know, I that'd will. be fucking nice. Hey. You know, you don't have to get a drink. Just throw me a $10 bill for my tip bucket. I, like, I, what the I, fuck, I, dude? I <laughs> Will do, brother. All right, man. Thanks so much, and we'll talk to you guys next week.